Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Handmade by Gardena and we're going to do some more craft with me with on our Tim Holtz um what's it called? Uh I've done forgot. <laughs> our Tim Holtz uh his paper dolls collection. Oh my goodness, I've already lost my mind and I'm just five seconds in the video. Today we're going to work on some tags. So, let's get started on some tags. I've got four laid out here. So, hopefully we can get them laid out. Um, since we last talked, it's just been a few minutes for me. But you're not going to see this until the next day. So, it's going to be hard to find about stuff to talk about. <laughs> Let's go ahead and ink this up. So, um, but while I was, uh, before I got this video done, this is also some Tim Holtz ephemera here that uh, you can get. He has, he has so much cool ephemera. I just love Tim Holtz things. I, th I think everyone does. Don't they? Don't really know of anyone that really doesn't. I've heard a few people say that the Paper dolls sort of creep them out a little bit, but I guess I'm weird. I like them. Okay. So, what I want to do on this is I want to stamp a little bit on this tag. But I am going to use our Wreck This Journal to stamp it off on. That way we can get some of our other pages done and we're as they say killing two birds with one stone so let's set this to the side for a minute And glue some of this on. So, I hope you all are having a good day today. And are getting some crafting done. Or getting some things done that you like to do. Instead of some things that you don't like to do. Um, this video will go up Wednesday, so Holland, what in the world are you doing over there, puppy? My husband's dog is on the bed over there, and she is going through. I have some crafting stuff that's on the bed, and she's probably going through the bags because she's nosy. 
and she thinks that there may be something to eat in it. You're gonna fall. Oh my goodness, that dog. This is one of these clips, excuse my reach, um, the index clips. And I just thought it would be cool on a tag. Just like that. So, there's that tag done. So, there's our first one. So, let's work on our second one. I printed all of these tags on parchment paper. And it's the cardstock. So, all of the backs look like this. Which, I need to be inking the backs too, don't I? <laughs> I forgot about that. Am I out of frame? I hope not. I hope I wasn't too far up. While I was sitting there looking at the camera, I was just inking away, wasn't I? I was going to ink the whole tag, I think. Go back and ink the back of this tag. So, yeah, I normally print on parchment paper. Or sometimes I will print on um, the coffee. That it's like a faux coffee dyed paper that I get from Amazon. I'll print on that or parchment paper, one or the other. And then they can write on the back of that. So there was how that tag there ended up looking. He looks like a very distinguished gentleman. This one here, he is sitting down. So I'm going to have to chop the edges of it off because it is too wide. So, I will put it on there. Well, my goodness. And then, chop the edges off. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, I hope you all are doing well and having a good day and getting to craft or do um, other things that you like to do. Which, probably when this video airs, I'll probably be waking up. Because I have it starting at 6 in the morning. And, well, I'll probably already be awake. Because I'm normally awake before then. My husband will still be asleep. So, I always have his coffee made for him. Which, and then I make me some cappuccino. My caffeine for the day. Sometimes I'll drink two glasses, but most of the time I just drink one. Oh, I thought that was glue there. That was a... Uh, piece of white on the 
Piper doll. There are so many journals that I want to make. And it just seems like you don't have enough time to make them all, isn't it? Just time goes by so fast on you, it's like, where did all the time go? Okay, there's that one. These are like our medium sized journal or uh, tags. So here are some larger ones. That was, this was from Pink Monarch, Pink Monarch Prints, and it was, it was her flea market kit. That's what it was called, flea market kit, uh, neutrals. And I thought it would go great with this, plus it would go great with uh, a lot of kits. Uh, nature journals and all kinds of things. This is some um, encyclopedia paper that Christina gave to me from Christina's Creations. So I'm putting it to use already. has some large font on it so I thought that it would be cool and then this is some uh, really thin dictionary page that Tracy may give me from uh, Traceums and both of these papers are vintage So it's really cool pages to use. Won't really do a lot of good at inking that, just getting the edges. And this is a whale tail tag. And I have a whale tail punch that I bought from eBay and that was my Christmas gift to myself and I love it I really really like it I think they look good on the top of tags and they look good as tabs on the side of a page in a journal. I mean, they look good on journaling cards. So, yeah. They they look good in a a lot of places. Oh, I forgot to uh, stamp this one. My goodness. You guys forgot to remind me. You guys didn't remind me that we needed to uh, stamp this tag. I forgot to stamp the background. I'm afraid to stamp it now because I'll get it all over my Tim Holtz man. Oh well, it'll be all right, I guess. He looks like an Irish man, I think. Looks like he come from Ireland, which my grandmother's side of the family is Irish, and that's where a lot of our red hair come from. We have lots of people with red hair in our family. My daughter's a redhead. Well, she's a strawberry blonde. If it's um, 
sunny outside, she'll, she'll have a a real light reddish blonde. But if it's raining or cloudy or dark outside, she will have a uh, auburn hair. So her hair like changes colors. It's pretty cool. She has very pretty hair. I love her hair. She's pretty hair color. Now, when I was a kid, mine was um, blonde, and it was the white blonde. But the older I get, the darker it gets. So, my hair looks like It needs to be dyed because the roots are dark. It's what they call the dirty dishwater blonde. And it always looks like it needs to be dyed because it looks like you've dyed it. And uh, you never did go back and get it refixed. I've got some glue there that I didn't ink the back of this one either. I'm not doing good at all on this video, am I? So, I normally just go and get my hair highlighted with the foils. Because... If I left it the natural color, it would look like it needed to be dyed. Which, I've always heard that the sun and the air and chemicals and everything hurts blonde hair and that it's hard to... Uh, keep blonde hair blonde because of the pollution and stuff in the air. So the older that you are, the older it's harder to uh, keep your hair blonde. Okay, there's our large tag. He, ve he looks very distinguished, doesn't he? Here is our last large tag that we're going to work on. And then I also have natural curly hair, which a lot of people says, oh, I wish I had natural curly hair. But if you had natural curly hair, you would not want it. It is so hard to take care of because if the humidity is really high, then it gets really frizzy and... Oh, it's a mess. You can't comb it when it's dry. You can only comb it when it's wet. Because if you comb it when it's dry, it'll make it even frizzier. And um, you'll break it off. You'll break your hair off. And... That's not good to break your hair off. I'm going to go ahead and put this on first.
that way. Because I have like a wheel on this one too. And that wheel I put up a little bit too far. There we go. And I remember to ink that back this time. That wheel, the last time I put it a little bit too far and it was hard to get that last well tail tab on there. But yeah, um, you can't comb your natural curly hair if it's dry because you'll break it off and you have to use some kind of product in your hair always like a mousse or gel or anti-frizz or something to uh, keep it from being frizzy which I use um, a cream and when my hair was long I always had to use um, shampoo plus conditioner and then use the leave-in conditioner but now that I've cut it all off really short to see if it would help with my migraines which it really hasn't but it I can tell that uh, it has lifted a lot of a weight off of my head and neck and shoulders and stuff so I can tell that but um now that it's short I just use the shampoo plus conditioner and I don't have to use the leave-in conditioner so that has helped but I still have to uh, use a product which I use it's like a it's a mousse type cream that's an anti-frizz and um, helps with your curls too so yeah which I'm sure that I think that is one thing that I don't know about men but I have come to find out about women that women are not happy with is their hair they are never happy about the color of their hair and they're never happy about if their hair is curly or straight because if they have curly hair they want straight and if they have straight hair they want curly and they always want a different color normally and it seems like once you cut your hair then you wish you had it long again and if you had it long you wish you had it short but you're sort of scared to make it short so I, I think that that is one thing that I have found that women does not like and they're never happy with is their hair which if there I'm sure they are some people that are happy with the way their hair their hair color is and the way their hair looks and all that I'm sure there are but I've just not met any okay here are our two large tags done 
So we got four tags done for today. That's what makes it bad about my videos, which I can only do them for 30 minutes at a time because my camera cuts me off in 30 minutes. So can't do them very long, but that's okay. We'll manage and so these are our four tags. We made two large ones and two medium ones. And I like them. I really like these um, clips right here. I think that they are neat. I bought those at Hobby Lobby about a month ago and I have it, I've been saving them for this journal. Because I knew I wanted to use them on this journal. So I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you for coming to my channel and subscribing to my channel. I hope you uh, are having a good time. And hope that I can teach you something. Or you uh, may be able to leave me a comment and teach me things. I mean... I think it works both ways. I think we both should have a good time. And to my um, current subscribers, thank you all very much for sticking with me. I really appreciate you all. And for watching my videos and giving me thumbs up and everything. I couldn't do my channel without all of my subscribers you all mean the world to me. Remember to do your 15 minutes of happiness a day. And spread your smiles throughout your home, your neighborhood, your community, your town. Just wherever you go, just spread those smiles wherever you can. And... Hope you all stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you all in the next video. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.